I'm back. Rhodes rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Rhodes Squadron. Today, let's talk about our favorite person on the planet that is responsible for ruining Star Wars, this side of Kathleen Kennedy. One Ryan Johnson. And, just as I suspected, and you will see this more and more, as we all know, most of us believe, seriously, that Ryan Johnson's trilogy will never get made. However, one of the things I called a while back was the fact that you will start seeing the media, well, we know they've defended The Last Jedi and Ryan Johnson, but now what you're going to see is the media trying to proactively save Ryan Johnson's job. It won't work. This is by way of winneriscoming.net. And David Harris, parentheses, razor. Ooh. Ryan Johnson is still making his trilogy. So deal with it. No. When Disney acquired Lucasfilm in 2012 and announced it had plans to revitalize the Star Wars saga with an all-new trilogy, fans were re elated. That continued when we learned that J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson would be directing the first two films in the new saga. In 2015, Abrams' The Force Awakens blew away the box office, raking in $2.6 billion worldwide. Although some fans complained that the movie was basically a rehash of A New Hope, so not everyone, everything was perfect in the fandom, but there was still plenty of optimism for Johnson's take on the series. He directed Brick, an excellent indie film. In your opinion, I think it fucking blew balls. The well-received sci-fi thriller Looper, for the record, I did actually enjoy Looper. And two of the best episodes of Breaking Bad. Okay, so let's, let's look at that for a half a second. I've said this prior. Ron Johnson was giving this trilogy and given The Last Jedi by Kathleen Kennedy. Ron Johnson was not qualified enough to direct this movie, in my personal opinion. Um, having done an indie movie and one mid-budget, lowish to mid-budget sci-fi flick, Looper, and a couple of episodes of Breaking Bad do not constitute, in my opinion, you directing a Star Wars film. Or, if you're going to direct it, it doesn't constitute you being able to write it. Then came Christmas 2017 with the premiere of The Last Jedi. The movie instantly split the fandom down the middle. One side praised it as the most compelling movie in the Star Wars cycle to date. Oh, fuck off. Others claimed it ruined their childhoods and was a front to all things in a galaxy far, far away. They hated new characters like Admiral Holdo and Rose Tico, and they despised the fact that Luke Skywalker was a grumpy old hermit rather than some all-powerful being who could use the Force to pluck a Star Destroyer out of the sky. For the record, Holdo and Rose Tico did suck ass. Awful characters. All, all, you know what? Maybe good actresses. In fact, Laura Dern is a great actress. Ryan Johnson ruined their character. And he ruined Luke Skywalker, a grumpy old hermit. So it was messy, but The Last Jedi still earned a whopping $1.3 billion at the box office. People watched this movie and then went back and watched it again. For the record, The Last Jedi and Solo are the only two Star Wars films I have never seen more than one time at the theater. I did not see The Last Jedi a second time. I did not see Solo a second time. I've said before, I enjoyed Solo, but um, it certainly wasn't going to get a second viewing at a theater price out of me. And The Last Jedi certainly wasn't. 
in in my opinion, and I've said this prior, the Last Jedi actually underperformed at the box office. It should have made somewhere in the neighborhood of one point six billion dollars, in my opinion. Disney was happy with Johnson's offering and decided to give him the reins to his trilogy to write and direct. Uh, actually, no, they weren't, and Bob Iger hated the movie. That did not please the Last Jedi loathing contingent of the fandom. Ryan Johnson ruined Star Wars, and nothing was going to convince them otherwise. For a solid year now, the director has been defending his choices on Twitter. Rightfully so. He should have to defend them every day, all day long. You are a producer of a product, and you failed. You should have to answer questions without attacking fans. It's part of being responsible. It's part of backing your product. Recently, a blog called Super Bro Movies claimed Johnson was stepping away. Other sites ran with the story, and the trolls were soon convinced that they had successfully scared Johnson away from Star Wars. And, of course, we found out the putz is still there. There you have it. Johnson is making his Star Wars trilogy, and it's probably time to deal with it or move on. No! We will not deal with it. We will not move on. We will not fade away. We will not go away. There has to be repercussions for delivering a movie that right now sits at 45% audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes. It was not attacked by Russian bots. That study was defunct. Debunked. Defunct. So, David Harris Razor, kiss my ass. This fight is not over. This fight is not stopping. We are not going away. For the record, Mr. Harris, Ryan Johnson's trilogy won't ever get made. Because Bob Iger and Lucasfilm knows enough to realize their IP will be over if that happens. Over. Star Wars will be over. It will be the most successful fucking up of a franchise in the history of anything involving entertainment. They will have successfully polished the brass on the Titanic. Ryan Johnson's polishing the brass. The Titanic is the last Jedi. Media trying to save Ryan Johnson's job. I suspect you can expect more of this as we as the months continue to go by. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.